Yo, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I know people will do a lot of things for clout, attention, cheese, gratification, justifications. They'll do a lot of things, but yo, <laughs> faking cancer is not not one of them that I would that I thought I would really be seeing like that. Cause obviously, sad. cancer patients, you know, they're going through a lot of things, hurting yeah. a lot. And I ain't gonna lie, prayers out to all y'all yeah, that do have it, bro. Y'all really fighting too. I ain't gonna hold you. And it's crazy. But yo, Sunny B2, tell me about this loser that oh, apparently boy. is faking cancer. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, we getting straight into it. We got awful TikTok arrested for lying about her cancer. Sunny cancer, not cancer. <laughs> Sunny B2, of course, if you want to watch really the video, that boy will be downstairs from mother to give her own opinions and get jacked. But without further ado, mom, let's. Uh, That's really related to me. Let's, uh, let's just get disappointed in humanity again. Tough. She was diagnosed with cancer, raised 37,000, but was given a heavy sentence as the cancer never existed. Born March 2003, her name is Madison Russo, and she oh was a God, university of Iowa me. student when she began feeling, quote, just a little bit off. She experienced sporadic fevers, some bloody stools and random nosebleeds, leading to a checkup with her university doctor. On the 10th of February 2022, at the age of only 19, Maddie was given a diagnosis she never could have predicted. I got the call from my oncologist and they found a mass on my pancreas and I had stage two pancreatic cancer at just 19 years old. Out of 25 different cancers, pancreatic has the lowest chance of survival. The five year outlook of survival is a slim. Well, so we obviously know she lied. So so I'm going into this with the pretense, obviously, that we know she lied. Okay. So not... Dan, you couldn't even like you couldn't even like make it make it some common, John. You had to make mm. it like the, the, the least the worst, chance yeah. possible. Like you was trying to really garner that sympathy, bro. Yeah, some of y'all are deplorable, bro. Some yeah. of y'all like y'all 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 like clout too much. Y'all addict. I'm trying to tell you, clout is worse than fent, bro. For y'all to be doing this, John, there are people it's that. Sad. And again, I hate I hate sounding like a virtue signal, bro. I hate sounding like a sign. But there is really heads that's like really out here like going through it, terminally mm -hmm. ill, bro. They scared that they may never see their fams again because they might pass. Which is again, prayers out to y'all. But it's like, bro, and you really around here doing this for for TikTok views Crazy. too? Oh my god. 11%. Yeah. However, this initial announcement video was already somewhat suspicious. She kept on looking to the left like she was reading off a script, which would be a pretty strange approach to talking about a life experience. It's her looking at her script for me. Perhaps she wrote it out to keep her words concise, but also how she was diagnosed didn't sound right. You don't just have an oncologist. It takes weeks, months. You have to find one that specializes in the kind of cancer you have. These red flags were clearly overlooked as Maddie was <laughs> featured by her <laughs> local news Cooper, in <laughs> which she'd stand by her original story. My phone rang and it said Iowa City Oncology. I stepped out of the classroom and took the call. They told me they had found a mass on my pancreas and that I had stage 2 pancreatic cancer. I was terrified and I definitely still am. I was in shock. I didn't think it could be true. I'm so young and I wondered how this could happen. I went through all the emotions and I was pretty numb. I remember hanging up the phone and I was a mess. I was literally bawling, but somehow I ended up getting the courage to wipe away my tears and went back into class, which I'm now sweet. when I think about it was pretty crazy. You never want to get cancer and if you do get diagnosed, you can't choose where you get it. Of all the ones, why does it have to be this one? Again, implying to everyone that sh Who's your doctor? Iowa City. Nah, uh, who is your doctor? What is your doctor's name? Yeah. Who is he? Yeah. Who is he? Tell me right now. <laughs> mm. uh, tell me right now who is he? And they doctor? don't tell you on the phone. They tell you to come in. To they tell you your doctor? No, no, no. I'm talking about to tell you that you have cancer, like serious illnesses. I was about to say, when they, yeah, when they, they don't just tell set you, you on, up a They drone, don't like, tell you on the phone because they know you're going to go through something emotionally. You're going to stress yeah. out, bro. Of so they you need are. you to come in. So, like, <laughs> yo, this got so right many there. holes immediately. Like, That's like so my bow, crazy. She should have just, yo, she should have just deleted her account while she still could, bro. That's tough. Man, y'all don't do And now, what's, what's this she got oh, on her? I'm guessing all, you know. Who see, did that? A doctor? This is what I want to know, too, because we're, we, we're going into the pretense, obviously, with the pretense. This is fake. So where, yeah. is, where is she getting this stuff? Who is providing this stuff for her, especially when she can't provide the name of a doctor? This is tough. I ain't gonna lie. 
she'd been given the worst cancer possible. To make matters worse, surgery was not an option as my tumor is on the tail of my pancreas and it's very deep rooted. Doctors said that if they went in, the surgery would do more harm. There was more risk than reward and as a result, she'd instead be doing 15 rounds of oral chemotherapy along with 90 rounds of radiation. radiation. She'd document the journey as a uh. way to help her cope, trying to act as an example that she could maintain looks and lifestyle. She'd write, round 14 of chemo ended last Friday and by Sunday night, I decided to throw on my running shoes and see where they took me. Well, they took me six miles. I'm thinking the bags of blood I received earlier in the week miles. fueled this one and made me speedy. Although to a person with leukemia named Anna Tower, this was again very strange. She wrote, when I saw Maddie's post about her going for a run, she looked pretty. She had all her hair and was strong enough to go running. A run I was missing since my diet. Diagnosis. Yo, this is this, is what I this is what I'm saying too. Like, bro, yo, a lot of heads with cancer, bro. And, and yo, y'all can see me I'm wrong, but a lot of them are bedridden, bro. Like a lot. Yeah, I, and I, if well, they going through chemo, they losing their hair. I'm about to say, yeah, if it's like really um terminal, then they may be bedridden because obviously you don't have to always be right. right. But I'm like, yo, if your jaw is like as bad as you saying it is, and you got like 11 percent chance to live. Dog, ah, it's like, mmm, eh, mm. And her hair look like freshly dyed. She That's what I'm saying. Dyed and everything. It's like, hey, where her oh. hair looking healthy in, John, bro. I, last time I checked, when you go through chemo, you John, like, you means you John. <laughs> like, she nah. She looking all good. <laughs> no, nah, I can't, bro. These heads got to stop lying like this, bro. Like, it's, it's honestly generally embarrassing. Yeah. Like, there I was sitting on the couch looking at that post and asking myself what was I doing wrong? Why was I bored, weak, and couldn't even think about walking, let alone running? Walking to the car to get to the hospital was a challenge. I was thinking I did something wrong. Or maybe that I was not strong enough, passively implying Maddie's appearance was also highly suspicious. People began to ask, how do you have chemo and keep all that beautiful hair? To which Wait a minute, don't, don't when you do chemo you kind of get paler too? Yeah. Like, how is... Nah. First thing goes is your hair. Nah, I ain't going for this at all. Because, yeah. She is dyed from the roots down. Dog, like, her hair looking healthy, sleek. Like, bro, this John looking like, yeah, nah. You know, we, we taking care of this, though. Like, you know what I mean? Bro, chemo is not having you look like this, my heart. You, you getting a whole different cut, gang. Whole different John. That's sad. I'm like, never. She'd post the following video. How I am keeping my hair um, during treatment with chemo and radiation. My mom found this. Um, it's biotin with collagen and keratin. Maddie claimed that she'd kept her hair by using vitamin supplements, but with comments like, I guess the biotin is stronger than the chemo. See, no, 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 see, thank you. Okay, so I can say this, because I was about to be like, head's gonna be like, I'm yapping, bro. All you do is talk, bro. You're so dumb. I'm like, son, are we not just gonna address the Bro. Some supplements is not stronger than 90 rounds of radiation. I, bro, what? Bro, that's like that's like if you said, bro, if you said, all right, bro, go ahead and take this ibuprofen instead of doing your MRI. What are we talking about? What? What? Nah. Jeez, she was something wrong. She was cuckoo for cuckoo. How are we she in jail oh, now? She in jail, right? I have no clue. This I don't know if she need to be in jail. No, no, she is in jail. No, no, she no, she had to do something because at the beginning okay. of it, because she she did eventually steal cheese. We gonna end up getting into that, but it's just like they can't let heads like these have socials, bro. Y'all y'all sick, bro. Y'all sick in the head, like, bro. Y'all can't, bro. She couldn't. And y'all, no disrespect, but she couldn't have just been a bop. Like, if you wanted attention <laughs> this bad, you couldn't have just been a bop. Like, you had to lie about having cancer, bro. OF page. Where like you couldn't have, you couldn't have just. That's wild, gang. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, uh, she'd adjust her claim, stating it did fall out sometimes. I was like brushing my hair, and a few like pieces were like coming out as I was brushing my hair. She'd post this photo to Bro, show she, she wasn't lying, me. but it was pretty damn obvious that was were cut from a haircut. Additionally, Maddie was super tan. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was wait. cut. Look at the My ends. Bad. I, I'm, I'm too busy to think about how stupid she is. Hold on. Bro. She said I was falling out. Is That's she serious? cut. Is she serious? She, yo, she, yo, she really got the nerve to think that we don't know what scissors are, bro. This is, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably nah, even her hair, nah, by the way. Yes, these were simply this. from nah, the haircuts. Additionally, Maddie was super tanned in every single photo, which again was weird as they don't let you tan or use self tanners during chemo. Her response, get this, was that the radiation treatment was keeping her golden brown. Ma 
<laughs> mom, stop. <laughs> Yo. Yo, mom, stop. <laughs> Yo, mom, stop. Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't had a good laugh like this in a minute, bro. This child is... <laughs> she was serious, too. That radiation gave her a tan ugly. Yo. Yo. No. No, this is not real. This people, is not real. It's really sad because people was believing in this. Like, I would see this and be like... Do you know the level of intelligence I'm looking at you with if you said something like this to me? Like, I would legitimately think, like, you are no smarter than a third grader as an adult. Like, are you dead serious? Did, you're trying to say that your your chemotherapy, your radiation treatments for cancer, <laughs> cancer is, is, is giving you that perfect golden brown sunset beach tan. That's what you're trying to tell me right now? Say no more. Say no more. Facts. <laughs> facts. Facts. Maybe this radiation was also recharging her energy as Maddie gave talks at St. Ambrose University, the SAU Generosity Night, and for the National Pancreas Foundation. In the process, she'd appear on podcasts. <laughs> nah, would she went nah, all the way nah, out. Bro. I don't care. You could call me a pause merchant. I am dumb. I will be coming to this. Someone who quite literally did not have cancer was she speaking for the National the uh, Pancreatic Institute. Bro, what, bro? She went all the way out, yo. She had her press tour, yo. She had her press tour. I'm oh feeling that. God. I'm feeling that, yo. We got we got really sold a bit, bro. We got to fake it till you make it. I'm feeling that. Mm. I'm feeling she never made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you crazy, define bro. the term pancreatic cancer. Um, the first word that comes to mind is just ugly. Before announcing she'd gotten a second type of cancer. It is with heartbreak and shock that I share the news that my cancer has spread to my blood and is acute lymphoblastic leukemia on top of my original diagnosis. Yo, ain't no way, bruh. <laughs> ain't no way, bruh. Ain't no way, bruh. Pray that boy. Yeah. Ain't no way, uh. Yeah. Where's that yeah. boy? Ain't yeah. no way, uh. Yo, yeah, boy, no way, boy. Yo, boy, no way, bro. No way, bro. Yeah, ain't no way, no way, way, no way. way. <laughs> Yo, it is with my heartbreak and shock. Nah, bro. Ain't no way, bro. No way, 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 no way. Yo, this is, yo. I, yo, I respect this level of cap. Yo, she's really getting into this, bro. Like, she's really, she really getting into this lie. Like, yo, usually you can weed out the heads like, all right, this boy mm -hmm. really is just stupid. Cat. Like, yo, she's really she... going in, bro. I, bro, I respect this hustle. <laughs> ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> I respect ain't this no hustle, way, yo, because <laughs> her cat, fantastic. Ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way, no way. <laughs> yo, she can't be serious. She cannot be serious. Of pancreatic cancer. Wait, on, she therefore update her GoFundMe, writing Maddie's cancer has been progressively getting worse and has spread all over her body, including throughout her blood glow. and also on her spine. She's tried everything and given it her all. Chemo, radiation, and other methods have no longer helped. As a result, donations flooded in, totaling thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. No, no, no. Wait a minute. What? Yo, I'm out of getting mad. I'm out of getting really, 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 I'm Yo, get, bro. I'm getting aggravated. And like, she still had that radiation, that glow? Chemo, radiation, and other methods have no longer helped. Okay, if that's the case, right? I don't know what other ways you can you can pretty much cure cancer unless there's no other way. So what are we donating to you for? Because this one is like, bruh. Like, let, let's be honest. I, I, obviously, bruh, there's other parts of that. But the main thing would be for treatments, right? You would de assume these donations is, right. is so she can get her medical needs, right? Because... Uh, clearly it wasn't. She most likely pulled one of the Johns and probably spent it on clothes and buying cars and John. Clearly. But, dog, like, I could immediately not trust this because, bro, if all these Johns didn't help and we're supposed to be giving you money for this John, which I would assume, again, like I said, I'm assuming, for treatments, dog, I'm like, yo, you can't get no cheese, my heart. Like, <laughs> like, what? And obviously, I'm sure I don't have to say this because, again, we know she doesn't have cancer, but, yo. If heads need help, bro, and you can provide and they got some John going on, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they would appreciate that, John. But not to these bulls. Not to these type bulls, though. <laughs> Never. People really, really going through like, that. Really going through it, man. That's what I'm saying. She over there. Perfect glow. Like, I'm sorry. I got to get on my Hassan for this, for, the, for, this, for this girl, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm about to virtue signal a little bit because, dog, like, yo, heads really got it bad. Heads really got it bad. And, like, obviously, I don't know the feeling, but you know, I could assume seeing all these, you know, different people with these Johns, you know what I'm saying? Even some people close, closer to me that <clears throat> didn't see them, uh, you know, obviously through screens of John. 
bro, like sickness like these and these terminal these terminal illnesses, like bro, these Jones bad, bro. Yeah. Heads really be yeah. taken every day. They 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 might not see their fams again, bro. They might pass, bro. And how how that's gonna affect their Jones? And you really over here faking it twice? You you doubled up? This is sad. Yo, she said, hold my beer. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Bro. As a result, care. donations flooded in, totaling $37,800. Maddie's close That's family crazy. friend, Peggy That's Ole, whose husband died of pancreatic cancer, also sent Maddie a whole package of support materials, including $500 in gift cards. To keep the money rolling in, Maddie befriended a fellow cancer patient named Charlie, who passed away in October 22, leading Maddie to make the following post. This just absolutely breaks my heart. Charlie and I I would text each other daily talking about all the ups and downs of both our battles with cancer and she Wait, was seriously was just a sweet yeah, genuine this this girl yeah. was really Yo. honestly going through it and you was lying you ain't feel bad i'm gonna let this be known right now because clearly the, the main girl or whatever not not this oh well yeah no it is this girl Yo, I feel bad again for the girl like that that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah like she jelly and you had really, cancer. And you didn't feel bad. And she passed away at a young age because she was born in 03 and passed in 22. So how how old is that? Two years ago from my age, nine, she was 19. Wrong. Yeah, she Stop. was like around 19. Okay, something wrong, something wrong. But something my wrong thing is like my thing wrong. is like this. She 19 and all that, and I know you could go to the doctor and jump by yourself. But bro, your parents, I want to look at you though. Yo, you let this happen, bro. You let this happen. Y'all let this happen. Y'all this girl out. really was sick and died, and she up there. How did y'all enable so y'all daughter to fake having cancer? This is ridiculous. Like, this is getting crazy, bro. I feel like, yo, like, things that's going to happen in society in John is only going to get worse as it progresses. Because, like, heads is going to get more and more degenerate for views in John. It's getting crazy, bro. It's getting ridiculous. This, this is, is actually so, like. That's sick. Wow. <laughs> I was like, whoa. And so, we were the same age, lived within minutes of each other, and could relate to each other 100%. You couldn't relate to Sadly, that. it seemed Maddie's cancer was also getting worse, as she'd post a compilation showing everything she'd been through. Included were photos of her in hospital, although it would be through these that Maddie was finally exposed. TikToker Scrub Hacks who worked Need inside the hospital noticed Maddie's medical equipment was installed incorrectly. What is going on with that chest port? I am not a chemo nurse, but this doesn't look like a port to me. The dressing is really screwed up with her feeding tube that's not primed. Let's go closer to her nose. Is that the end? Of the feeding tube. One comment clarified, chemo nurse here and that ain't a port. Again confirmed by a medical doctor. So you can see that the actual positioning of the port per se is not accurate. Also, the way that it's secured, the type of tape that's used, is not the same clinical tape that we would use in the hospital. Compare Maddie's port to that of Anna Tower, and the difference mm -hmm. is almost comical. And I don't know if you've ever seen a cancer port. They're not usually this sloppy. But the equipment problems didn't end there. There's nothing in that bag. This would be where the nutrition would be. And if she was actually being fed via feeding tube, this tube would be full of this white liquid. There's nothing in that. So she would just be pumping air into her stomach. Other photos featured the same inaccuracies. Here's another one. No substances in the tubing. And her port is still messy. Also, do you see that right there? That little purple spot? Yeah, that's supposed to be down in her stomach. All of which were taken not in... <laughs> Yo, y'all are sick. <laughs> y'all are sick, yo. Some of y'all people are sick, bro. Y'all sick, bro. <laughs> she is so she. Yo, uh, uh. yo, this is bold. I don't even this... know what to say. This is bold levels of cap. Like this is bold. This is extremely bold levels of cap. Dog, like why do this to yourself? Especially in this day and age where people, bro, they'll go out of your way, go find the the most like. Craziest John you didn't send 10 years ago. Details about you and your fam. You ain't even know. They find all this type John and you really thought you was getting this off? She got the wrong end in her nose. <laughs> Yo, she was like, oh, you said that purple spot up there? This must be in her stomach. I'm sitting here like, excuse me? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, she really faked it, huh? <laughs> hey, bro. And every time she took a picture, her bag was empty? Yeah, like, we're, see, that's the crazy part, too. Like, she, she didn't acknowledge that either. Like, yeah, bro, uh, I'm connected up to the IV or, or my cancer ports or whatever. But, yeah, there's nothing pumping into me.
She didn't, um, she didn't. Yeah, well, well at, uh, clearly she didn't because she's so generally this, stupid. I hope she didn't say this picture was in the hospital. This was in the hospital? Because this nah, sure this looked like not. her linen closet. This is, this is my like her washroom, her, room. her washroom or something. This looked like somebody mud room in a five bath, five bath. <laughs> I'm not going to cap. But I don't know. We about to see. <laughs> inside a hospital but instead her own apartment <laughs> every other photo hey, was simply found on google this is a picture she posted that Wait. is a european outlet this picture is from google except for some other extremely shameful oh, posts this picture alone should put her in jail she took this picture drained from chemo era this was on her tiktok somebody reversed image searched it and found an actual person with cancer she literally stole this photo maddie took photos of actual cancer patients Wait, wait, how does that even work? Because we're, they're two different people. How does she even pull this off? Wait a minute. I'm so confused now. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> she took pictures. She yeah. stole people's pictures and said it was her. Yeah, like, wh how does she even get that off and it worked? This is my question. Like, what? Yo. <laughs> She's sick. She's sick. <laughs> Thank you for exposing her, people. Because she Bro. Sick. I'm gonna be honest, bro. This is a this is a culture. This is a culture fault. I'm gonna be honest because we so we 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 like nowadays so much prioritizing like having attention, getting these views on these different platforms. You know all that dopamine hits, bro. We we all want a little bit of piece of clout. That you got people going this far, bro. This far, just so people could give you some self gratification. Oh my God, yo, forty yo. bands. Y'all are, y'all are terrible, bro. Patience and posted them to her TikTok as if they were her own. Well, as a result, police received a report that Russo had taken money and donations from more than 439 donors, leading to a warrant to search the Bettendorf apartment of Madison Marie Russo. There, police found a brown paper bag with medical supplies, an IV pole with a feeding pump filled with cotton balls, two boxes of transparent dressing and a wig, Plus a brand new 2020. A wig? <laughs> is, that, is that the one she cut out? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, was, I was still on the cotton balls and the feeder butt, right? <laughs> I heard a wig. I'm sitting here like, wait. You mean that was, what, that was what's in the sink? <laughs> in a 2023 Kia was born. I was car. right. I said in a car. <laughs> No, bro. bro. Oh yeah, man. I'm a virtue saying for this one. Y'all are evil, bro. Yo, her feet and punk was filled with, with cotton, cotton balls. balls. That's why, like, yo, mom. What to make it look like the white liquid? I, I think I, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it means it, it, in the pouch here. Uh, uh, nah, cause he got a cotton ball symbol thing up here. But I, I, she see, wasn't that smart. Okay. Yes. No one intelligent is gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> of course she isn't. Like smart. what? <laughs> like, like, of course she's not. Like, yo, this is crazy, right? Why you got the medical supplies in, in the, the brown bag? That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. Supplies in the brown bag. Dang. Yo, she was really trapping in the show, bro. This is crazy. Yo, bro, I'm so... Yo, I generally kind of... I'm with my... I don't even know what to say, bruh. This is wild. Me 3 Kia Sportage <laughs> purchased with her GoFundMe money. Police then searched Maddie's medical records taken from Genesis Trinity, which showed that although Russo was a patient, she was never treated for any cancers or tumors. Police <laughs> therefore <laughs> froze her bank account and Maddie was arrested. Six months later, Still Maddie appeared good. in court, Still making the wild good. claim that she had a broken family and failed Faking cancer was her strategy to bring them back together. <laughs> yeah! Nah, boy, no way, boy. Wait, no way, boy. No, no, no way, no way. Yo, no way, no way. Press that again. No way, no way, bro. No way, no. Press that one more time, bro. Hold on, bro. Nah. Yo, my heart. Yo, yo, yo no way, strat. Bro. Yo, boy, yo, no your way, strat bro. to bring your broken family back together was like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Cancer. <laughs> Double homicide, bro. What? Bro, she could have did some more. She could have did some other <laughs> illegal stuff, but why she had to pick cancer? Yo, you sick, she bro? She could have worked the block. I swear to some. God, yo, I'm not even playing, y'all, because there is really weird balls on the internet. There is weird balls. They probably pay you like two hundred dollars so you can send them feet pics of some John, and you yeah. was like, screw it, fake cancer. Double. She had double cancer. <laughs> 
fake cancer. Then it started leaking into her blood. And I, I'm not saying, obviously, I don't know all the details. And I'm not making fun of anyone cancer. Y'all know that. But, like, bro, then, then you give us these BS stories. And you really, yo, she really think I'm taking a, I'm taking a, I did this to bring my fam back together. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I don't remember the last time I bought a car to bring my fam back together. <laughs> yo, that's wild, bro. No way, no way, no way, no way, boy. You mean to tell me you sat here and put cotton balls in your feeding pump, fake this whole john, and you trying to say, oh, I just wanted my mom to talk to my dad, bruh, tough. <laughs> and again, yo, nothing on, uh, heads out of doors. But like, yo, <laughs> yo, she wildin', bruh. She wildin', bruh. Yeah, yeah, nah, this internet john, nah. We, we might have to really get rid of the internet. <clears throat> I didn't do this for money or greed. I didn't do this for attention. I did this in an attempt to try and get my family back together. It didn't work, and it only got worse. Maddie's lawyer then explained how being exposed ruined Maddie's life. At the gym, she's had people approach her and verbally accost her. She has been at the store where she's been flipped off and cursed at and yelled at. Although yeah! those who were deceived... Yeah, I got a few words. I got a few fingers too. Did you ever figure it's because she faked having cancer twice? <laughs> Did you ever figure that that could get you a lot, a lot, a lot? Here we go, another Mark lawyer. Of negative reinforcement online? <laughs> Did you not acknowledge that? It yeah, was an attempt to get her family back together. She yeah. could have did way more other things. Ma, ma. <laughs> Mom, she could have did way more than things. Send it to your mom. I'm trying. I, yo, can we all talk? Send it to your dad. Can we all talk? Send it to your brother. Can we all talk? Send it to your sister. Can we all talk? Your grandmom, your grandpa. Yo, that's how you get it down. You don't fake cancer to do. Yo, oh my god, mom, this video is not real. <laughs> it is real. Here go Mark. Shout out Sunny V two. He's a female a good Mark. Nah, bruh, I, I, I gotta hear this virtue signal. I have to hear but this. It still demanded extra punishment. I hope Maddie Russo is held responsible. Me too. I hope Maddie Russo has to spend a great deal of time in jail. Me too. I hope Maddie Russo has to pay restitution. Me too. She preyed on my emotions and my giving nature. Sure did. The judge determined that Maddie had shown remorse. I doubt that you will ever commit a crime like this again. But still charged her with first degree theft. As a result, Maddie was given a 10 year suspended prison sentence, 100 hours of community service, a $1,370 fine, and she was ordered to repay $39,000 to those who donated to her GoFundMe. I was about to say, she got a $1,300 yeah, fine when like, she stole 40 bands? That's I, was I was like, like never. What? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's see. So she got a 10-year suspended prison sentence. What does it mean? Like, so I'm, I'm suspended. I'm assuming they mean they didn't give her this full time. Yeah, they didn't like, give it to her. Full time. Yeah, or they didn't just give it to her at all. 100 hours community service. Yeah. Fair. Define. Uh, yeah, whatever. And uh, yeah, she need to pay all these bulls back though. How she? They ain't giving no job. They ain't giving no job. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you better you better lock in. Go she work still at look uh, good. you know what I'm saying your, your local fast food joint, bro. I don't know. Like I ain't gonna lie. Idiot. Nah, she definitely don't look good. She looks psychotic in this boy. Oh yeah, you had blocking her. Yeah, she looks psychotic. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> <clears throat> However, her donors still weren't happy. As a not. pancreatic cancer patient who donated to her, GoFundMe refunded the money. This sentence is appalling. Is. She lied to the court. This was for greed, not her family. Quit to cause not, people yeah. to hesitate to help is the reason she should be in jail. Mm -hmm. Judge slash prosecution, you failed. Definitely Maddie failed. Russo has since disappeared from the internet. Good. She should have never been on the internet. <laughs> like, I don't... Like, <laughs> Yo, bro, yo, y'all will never, y'all will never ever see me have remorse for people like this. I don't care. I don't care that she was getting harassed and John like that, bro. Like, <laughs> if you didn't want to get harassed, why did you steal from people? And virtue signal that you were out here having cancer and John. Like, what are we talking about, gang? Like, she what? She made it worse for that family. A hundred percent she did. To get back together. You did this to get your family back together. Now you really love I me mean, thinking. You did this to get your family back together. This situation going to make your family split apart even more. Because mm -hmm. now, no one in your family going to be surrounded by you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, my God. So freaking stupid. But, yeah, yeah, that was Sunny V2. Off of TikTok, arrested mm -hmm. for lying about her cancer. And, uh, yeah, she deserved it. <laughs>
Simple as that. So yeah, if you guys want to watch the original video, that boy be down the below to give your own opinions and conjecture, of course. But y'all already know we made it to the end, so pop mm -hmm. up the end screen. I'm gonna need y'all to like that up, like that up, like that up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need y'all ah subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell too, so that every time mom, 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 mom. Trilla, trill, trill, trill. Post that video, boy, up in your feed. Better really? watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. Fresh, hot, fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fresh, hot, fire. Hey, mom. Wait till we catch the next bozo. And we out. Peace.